Hey, dickbag. Tell me, Commander. Make me understand your point of view. What do you want? A bag of carrots and a hot potato. Have you lost your mind? Can't you see what doing is wrong? Well, I want to understand the truth about Matari. The truth is infinite. To grasp it is to lose yourself to the darkness and to know that everything that you see happening before you is a lie. Mm hmm. All right. You know what? I'm just gonna kill everyone. How about that? Let me ask questions that lead up to the truth. I don't know what you hope to get. Shut up. So be it. Ask. Why the attack on Jonestead, bro? You bring that up for good reason. It seems like another attack on the Pinder family, but it is so much more. We're done with the master plan of slowly prodding the beast until it bites back. That was done decades ago. Marcus' death was a statement. The first of many. Sorry, I'm doing arts and craft on the side. Why the brutality here? There's no need for this. Also, keep talking. I'm doing arts and craft. Brutality against who? The sirens or... I don't know. Disgusting to look at, yes. But their bodies had to be burned to ensure that they can't be used for more nefarious purposes. Hmm. They wouldn't have suffered as long as they surrendered. Unfortunately, none of them did. We had no choice. But to to burn them and barbecue. It's clear the Matari is real anyway. Why take it out on the sirens? Consider it mercy killings, if you will. This is war. They fight for the enemy. They die. There is no easier way around the issue. To turn Barbara them shot. against their mistress is something that would require time. And time is a dying commodity. Are you okay, Not anymore. I'm sorry, child. She no. could have died in peace with us, Commander. No, there that was wasn't my call. Asked in ignorance. The two of you so foolish to get involved in something that has escalated past the rivalry between two clans. This war is no longer about the Penders. Why Fort Parmesan? You could have made your turn more subtle. Capturing Pazaroth was our moment of glory and a symbolic moment of defiance. There is something poetic about returning to the home where we first tasted defeat. And barbecue. And we know that to truly touch Matari's mind, you must be poetic with your victories. Notice, every single purity member that you killed on your way here knew that this would be their grave. We knew that there was no way we could possibly hold on to this fort for so long. What we believed could be achieved here was to kill as many sirens as possible. Until you appeared in the war. Sorry. So, how many sirens died today? Okay, there was Cindy, Lucy, Bobby. Her name was Kalisa. Strange and convenient. When faced against incredible odds, only one person dies. And did she happen to bear any signs of skepticism towards the sirens? She weaves a tapestry of illusion around you. Every siren is essential to this mission because you are present. All except one that no matter how hard you try, you could not see. So the heroes, Jesus Christ. So the heroes following their orders? You don't need to ask me that. You know the answer yourself. They fight because they know we're right and you're wrong. I'm done. I want the truth and nothing but the truth. The truth? You can't handle the truth. Can you? Who do you think you are? A scholar? A priest? A king? A warrior? A god? No. All men and women of all walks of life have tried to understand the truth. Glimpsing into the fold of an Elder Scroll pales in comparison to what we know. To know the truth is to lose yourself to the void. Your mind would not survive. Simplify. At least help me, bitch. You are beyond help. You think that what you're fighting, this Matari, can be won by physical strength or verbal threats. Words cannot sway her. Knowledge will not scare her. Only defiance. 
That is what we're doing. What we're doing? What exactly are you doing? Freeing the world. To truly cleanse it, you must start from the beginning. Everything and everyone must die. That is the only way we can win. You'd rather commit suicide than fight? No! This is fighting! Once we're all dead, there is still hope that life will return. Except she won't. To die free is far better than to be playthings for sick and maniacal purposes. At least that way, the beast can die. There is no reason to live if you can't fight Bliss. And for her, Bliss is the only reason she can exist. Oh, God. How do you plan on going about killing everyone? The plan is simple. There is no grandiose device that will mark the end of all living beings on Earth. It will be unleashed quietly and without warning. The nature of the weapon is quite contrary to the enemy we're facing, beyond mortal comprehension. Of course, I won't tell you what it is because that would be absurd on my part. It's our only hope after all. Methods are ridiculous and extreme, I won't let you carry them out. You speak like a very a philosopher, a poor one. You poor philosopher. I speak like a man who has no reason to live. Not as long as she's alive. If you not let me, then I'll ask Serenity. The being that chose to attack us rather than guide us out of madness. You have learned more from me than you can from her. She chooses who she speaks to. She hasn't said a word to me, a sign that she is still as emotional as the rest of her clan. She has learned nothing in the time she has spent in solitude. If you want to sift through a disregard for lesser beings, be my guess. It's obvious one of her kind has already spoken to you. Otherwise, you wouldn't have stopped to ask me questions about Matari. So what'll happen to you? I die. You won the battle today by your presence alone. A shame since Bezeroth could have been the site of two major defeats for the Sirens. Instead, it was a victory won by a pitiful, dull display of swords and shields. Don't you grow tired of it? Then nope. let us be the ones to do it. We okay. will be the last. As you wish, Shulko. Thanks for saving me the trouble. You're gonna just let me kill you? I was hoping I will not kill you. Then I'll be taken prisoner by the sirens and killed without honor. Do it. I need to die with honor. God damn. You sexy little bitch. <laughs> Enjoy. Got some ketchup. We're gonna read all these books. I'm just gonna, just gonna put them over here. There you go. Here you go. This is yours. Whoop. He, f he fell on his sword. That's how he died. Is everyone okay with this? Okay, let's go. What? Oh. Listen, Link. Listen, listen. Hi. He had my sword. That Algonian had my sword. You mean Bosco? Where'd he go? So you are vengeful. Maybe this was a bad idea. Wait, wait, who said that? Why? What's going on? Do you know him? You are Serenity's, right, Spirit? That's me. And what's your name? Dicka Smasher. Um, I, I have questions. So do I. Pull up a rock and sit down, because we need to talk. You and Purity Man weren't friends. You might be someone I can trust, or you might not. Let's find out. Why don't you start from the beginning and tell me who you are what, and what you're doing? Explain. Oh, well, things have changed so, so much. It's not good. How long have you been out of touch with the outside world? 103 years since I was abandoned here. Until today, I haven't spoke to anyone. Strange people have come and gone through this grotto for the past decade. I hear what they say, but without context. I never un understood until now. It's all coming together. The missing chapter has been found. And Matari is the writer. So, can you explain to me what's going on? Uh, 
What's going on, damn it? I make no promises, but before we get to that point, you must be given a history lesson. Oh, God. God damn it. 200 years ago, I destroyed the history planted at this very spot that you already know. What you don't know is that the Pinda family became the target of retribution for my act of aggression. At the time, we thought it was a case of mistaken associations. What do you mean by mistaken associations? The Pinda twins that were poisoned by Purity's Erosap served as housemates for the Champion of Serio. If it weren't for them, the Champion would have never discovered the existence of Project Purity or my people. The Champion was instrumental in allowing me to destroy the Tree of Temptation, so the Champion helped you. The Champion would have never helped someone like Um. So the Champion helped you. Yes, we fought side by side in this grotto until I had to take my sacrifice to destroy the tree. We parted too soon. Aww. If only he were still around so you could see him in battle. His prowess was enough to move even an orc to tears. Anyway, all was quiet for almost four decades. For my sacrifice, my soul merged with my creators. Everything she saw, I saw. I was live and I could see events unfold and spiral into chaos. See? When Purity began attacking the Pinder family, we thought it was due to the fog of war caused by the champion's interference many years before. If only it was so simple. So this is all started because of you. If you ha hadn't destroyed the history, my family wouldn't have got in involved in this war. I'm so sorry. The tree was an evil abomination. It had to be destroyed. The pins were simply at the wrong place at the wrong time. See? If they hadn't found the champion in time... I, I mean, if they hadn't found the champion in time, things would have been become very, very unpleasant in Nern. Through their suffering, they gave your world hope. Hmm, see? I, I see, I understand now. So, we honored them as the Shadow War dragged down between Puria and the Pinders. We provided a select few with shelter and training. The family came to call my people holy matrons, for we had become their mothers. Despite all the losses the Pinder family endured, they survived. We watched them with sorrow and pride. Like any mother, we wanted to constantly protect them, but we couldn't. We are creatures that are st shunned in your world, and for a good reason. We walk a fine line between love and lust. Our existence must be kept a secret to all but the chosen. Things went smoothly for a hundred years, then something happened that no one could have predicted. Our connection to the Pinders and the world was severed. For two years, the world was dark. My soul was expunged from Mother the Goddess. My spirit flung back here as a grand insult by fate. The shrine that the matrons were building for me had been abandoned. I feared the worst. For 100 years, I thought they were all dead. Until finally today, you tell me that you that they might still live. An observer came to, to you, a holy matron. Why would, your, why would your own people come to me instead of you? I don't know. I've been out of loop for 100 years. Change in leadership, maybe? Or maybe that's part of their intricate plan. I don't know. I, didn't, I forgot my email login, so... I can assure you that they're still friends. The observer you spoke to is someone I know. There's only one woman in the Legion. Retribution! That doesn't spread her legs open at the sight of a man. Uh, what? Is there any way we can contact your people? Samuel suggested your people are nymphomaniacs. Well, if you want to be blunt. Oh, okay. Is there any way we can contact your people? You don't contact them. They contact you. After skies of eyes, she said. Maybe they'll speak to you again. If you survive. As for me, I would have done it years ago if I could. I'm stuck here, and I'm lonely. Sounds like the cans. Let's move on. You are unaware about Serenity's terms. Yes, but everything you're telling me is a common element that, can o that only I can recognize. I don't need to know Serenity's sirens to say that I don't consider the name flattering. They're using it as a front. Ha ha. I saw a strange woman walk into this ghetto ten years ago, four ash and one red guard. It would have been easy to speak to them, but I didn't need to. I knew each and every single one of them. New people, but part of the same exclusive club as the previous five. They crave pleasure just like the holy matrons, only they follow a very different philosophy from a different mother. Uh, you speak of the golden maidens in Matari? Matari, that's a name I haven't heard never before until this day. Meh. You're not making sense. You're obviously talking about Matari. A name's a name. You can change it whenever you start a new game, but you're still the same person. My name is Dika Smasher. Oh, what's going on? I make no assumptions. But you do know her. To know someone and to know of someone are two different things, see? My people's history is a long and troubled one. You can say it was shaped by what we're calling Matari. See? 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 Your people fought Matari? Long ago, we failed because we thought she could be beaten into submission with a big fat stick. My sword was used against her. It worked temporarily, and then she was like, nope, came back. You see, you can't win against Matari through physical means. It's a mental battle. Your dreams are just the beginning.
You've yet to experience even her weakest methods of manipulation. Can she be stopped? No. <laughs> there has to be a way. Does a bear shit in the woods? Yes, bears do shit in the woods, by the way. Hey. Oh, I was afraid of this. No one wants to be cold. They're going to die the next day. Understand my armor. You major threat, but exactly how major? You underestimate my power. Matari has dealt with people with your attitude before. She's one each time. You understand Matari is major threat, but exactly how major? As major as it gets, it's a difficult concept to explain that nothingness. Hard to comprehend. It would make my head hurt if I still had one. But that's what will happen when she wins. Everything will cease to exist, except for her. But it must happen when she chooses it for it to happen. Otherwise, she could, wouldn't survive. Which brings me to Purity's plan. What do you think of it? Good idea to kill everyone before she can? Maybe. I need to find out more. Good luck. Purity has been reborn, but they're just as cryptic. There's another plan. You could do what my people have been doing for thousands of years. You can just let things unfold and enjoy yourself. Live life how you want it to be lived. Enjoy the party. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. At last, there's this plan, new plan proposed by the Observer. As I said, I make no assumptions, so I'll only tell you this. There will be sacrifices. That is a guarantee. Your goal will be to inspire fear. You'll fight a battle of the minds with the Grand Manipulator herself. She will tempt you, and you will lose your sanity. And you will fail. But when you've nothing else to lose, <laughs> well, you know what to do. Can you at least tell me what to expect so I can be ready? Can we stop at Burger King? It's different for everyone that's tried. The purity fellow said it'd be better than I could. You will not understand. You need to see things for yourself. Oh my god. If I choose this path, I'll be ready. There are some sacrifices. How do I sacrifice? How does scaring Matari help me? Jesus fucking dick bogs. Jesus. How does scaring Matari help me? It will not help you. It means to help. It's meant to help the future. Matari's plan is as old as her mind. We would not understand the full scope. We know that it relies heavily on manipulation. If you manage to reject her, she may become insecure. Any changes now to her plan will be done in mad and haste. The end draws near. Soon her plan will have to go into full motion. You say, maybe? Neither purities or the observer's plans are guaranteed to work. That's why I still say you should just take it easy. I've, I've been doing that and live. What exactly is Matari's plan? We only know the beginning and the end. Build alliances and oversee the end of the world. She has her alliances. Those are the sirens. We don't know how many pieces lie in between. Maybe those are the only two. If that's the case, then we may have already failed. How much time do I have left? Stop her. Unless you're planning on living for another few hundred years, you only have the rest of your life. Or maybe she's getting impatient to use accelerator plan. Maybe you only have a day. The key is to disrupt her as early as possible while you still have the chance. Why is she doing this? I swear to you, this is something that none of us have the answer to. Only Matari knows. She's looking for something, and she's destined to find it. When she does, she won't need the world any longer to survive, you see? Hmm? This is very drop this book. Show the seducer. Interesting, isn't it? An account told from the point of view of Dasan, but not written by him? This is but a taste of what Matari has planned for you. Dasan, despite his imposing demeanor, was easily displayed. <laughs> You're not that kind of person. Matari will unleash your full potential to make you hers. How did Matari control people? Is there some type of, uh carrot stick two different ways she either makes you mindless servant with no free will or she breaks you she prefers the latter her wants are yours when she implants an idea to her followers they will believe it if i choose this pass i'll be ready no one is ever ready what is matari why don't you tell me some sort of danger monster a sick a deity just a woman an ashen shaman i don't know how about you tell me a damn sprite take that back some sort of danger I don't know. You got it. That's exactly who she is. Clap, clap. Clap, clap, clap. I've got the clap, clap, clap. What am I supposed to do now? I have told you all you should know and what you need to know. To prepare yourself, the game has begun. You versus Matari. It's funny. Normally, the player doesn't learn the opponent's true nature until the end, but this is no ordinary game. You can mix the win by playing by the rules. Cheat and prosper. That's the only way. Now you know what you must do, right? Play long and strike at the right moment. I'm going to kill her. I'm not going to get involved. The scheme would be... Wouldn't be. This game wouldn't be so convoluted, you just, just tell me everything. Trust, trust, trust. Believe me, I know what I'm doing. Tee hee. Listen, I'd love for you to stay in chat, but it looks like we've attracted an audience, see? Mwah. Literally see no one. We can take them. Don't worry about them. You got you two get up the scaffolds and jump. What? I have a surprise. I've been waiting to show off. Explosives, courtesy of the Golden Maids, rigged until I disarm them with my mind. So you want us to go up there and then jump. 
Wait, what will happen to you? Why don't we find out? Haha, -ha. come on, Peer, do you remember me? Meh. Where are they? Oh, they're there. We need you to tell the other sirens what you know. It's too late for them, see? Alright, boys and girls, let's row. What? Wait, tell us. Where do skies divide? Where it all comes to an end. Now go. Get out of here. Scat. See? Scat. Get out of here. I feel your heart beat like the beat of a drum. Me and Kasha are escaping because we like drums. Gods, jump! Jump! And then, blackness. Oh, someone flushed the toilet.